uh, the aim of this improvisation is really to feel yourself as good as you can. I have to fasten the door of this sending box. Okay. It's really hard to explain because it's one of those themes which might be obvious when you are coming in your own development to this understanding. It's really hard to point towards it. You know? Maybe you know that your perception is imprinted by your own wanting, your needs of course, and your wanting, and those aspects which you don't like to hear, they are quieted, you know? and that's just one just one of these cognitive uh, distortions and you know in the Buddhist path you know there's greed, hatred and delusion. These are obvious cognitive distortions and uh, there are the five hindrances. It, this is really part of your meditation practice, you know, it's n not just uh, spacing out or something. It's <laughs> one participant mentioned it's like a therapy. Yes, it is. But it's not uh, some kind of self-improvement, you know, there's nothing to achieve. But when you are coming through a whole bunch of cognitive distortions, you can imagine this is a more realistic view. You know, that's maybe understandable. And when you are coming to this more realistic view of your bodily perceptions, you, know, you are coming to another view angle, to a new viewpoint about yourself, and then uh, you are coming, uh, you are becoming more, uh, no, you are switching from this attraction, you know, dancing stuff, you can do it. Dance, if you like to dance, dance, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good for the monkey mind, but when you are becoming a little bit more the master of your monkey mind, you know, you're switching the viewpoint to, I think, to a more healthy and sustainable way about yourself and your surroundings. You know, that's needed for that thing I'm performing now. And I'm developing this form now for me in this moment. And I will develop this form the next months, you know always searching what my body is in need of and also a little bit of a framework. You know, I, I began with a breathing flower, you know, and but I liked the first part coming down and I liked to adapt the directions because this is very important for the uh, relation of your limbs in the room. Something we have to get used to. So, it is changing but it's mm, coming to something like a form. You know? Beginning in a normal stance, 
if you feel your body now and you like a little bit broader, take a little bit broader stand. The first is coming to the back. Rubbing the back sides of your legs around the feet and in the inside of your legs up and then breathing in a little bit to the ground moving the inner the palms of your hands to the outside and relax you can play around going out that's becoming stiff so relax your shoulders you relax your elbows a little tension a little tension just by coming up with your hands and then all the directions this is left right middle left and middle right back left to the front right to the back coming to the middle again and right front left back middle <laughs> no, and the right front left to the back and left right and then if you like even up down stretch and relax changing the hands and a little stretch and relax i think in the in the end of this form development there is no stretch you know it's just the relax slight tension really slight coming to the middle and to the back that's one round Take care of your hip. Let your hip be directed to the front and relax. And now the left up. Yes. One more time, one last time. Other side. It's already finished, <laughs> you know. I really have to play around a little bit more with it. But it felt 
right the, the variations are becoming more subtle in the last Saturday I began with this form and now it's already coming to an end form strange Thank you for this session. If you like, develop your inner smile. That's the, the major topic of all this stuff of Zen Kigong. Have a nice day, week, until next time. I'm collecting the stuff.